more such yummy videos like this please tap on the red subscribe button and don't forget to click on the bell icon Hi there, welcome to another session in Deepak's Kitchen and today I am going to teach you how to make Mughlai Chicken. This is going to be one of the richest and heaviest food and make sure it's going to be very tasty also. There are going to be lots of cream, dry nuts and lots of paste into this and it's going to be very yummy also. So without further ado, let's see how this is done. chicken we'll take a chicken like this cleanly cut and washed we'll add a half a teaspoon of salt a quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder and nearly a half a cup of curd or yogurt we'll add nearly a four tablespoons of curd and add a one teaspoon of ginger garlic paste and add one teaspoon of red chili powder Mix well and let this marinate for half an hour. Let's lit on the fire. Put a kadai to heat. And now it's time to dry roast all the spices. First, we have some four to five cloves, a half a teaspoon of peppercorns, three cardamom pods, and few stone flour, one star anise, and a half an inch of cinnamon and a quarter teaspoon of jeera and this is a strands of maize yes. let's dry roast this in a medium flame dry roast them until it oozes out its essential oils and nice aroma arises it's all done now let's take this in a plate and in the same pan we'll add a one teaspoon of Fennel seeds, nearly a 10 to 12 pieces of whole cashews, nearly a 1 tablespoon of coconut and dry roast them for a bit. And now let's take this in a separate plate. And in the same pan add 1 teaspoon of oil. Let's add the marinated chicken. And let the chicken cook until it's half done. Don't add the water, just without adding any water, cook until the chicken is cooked until it's half. Close the lid and cook for about 10 minutes in a medium flame. Open the lid. Now open. Mix well. And cook until the water evaporates completely. And now the chicken is completely drying out. The chicken is nearly 70% cooked. Now let's take this out. Kadai. Let's add 4 tablespoons of oil. This is a Mughlai chicken. Be generous with the oil. It takes much more of an oil to this dish. The oil is heated good and now we'll add the dry roasted whole garam masala which has been crushed. And mix. As soon as that, we'll add a cup of finely chopped onions. And mix well. Cook until the onions are slightly golden brown. Add, add 2 teaspoons of ginger garlic paste. And mix and cook until the raw smell goes away. And we'll add some tomato puree. 
and another two teaspoons of curd. and mix well and cook until the oil oozes out look the oil is oozing out at this stage we'll add some dry spices we'll add nearly 3 teaspoons of coriander powder and some slit green chilies according to your heat And mix and at this stage we'll add a one cup of milk and allow this mixture to cook well in this gravy if you want you can add some more milk or some water and now it's time to add some salt Add salt according to your taste. We'll add the cashew nut and coconut paste. And mix and bring it to a boil. It should be a thick gravy consistency. Let's add a half a teaspoon of garam masala powder. Mix well and good. Now we'll add the half cooked chicken and mix good. And let the chicken cook completely in this gravy. Close the lid and let this cook for around 5 minutes in a medium flame. And now let's open the lid, mix once again Don't let the gravy burn or stick to the bottom, keep stirring in between We'll add a half a teaspoon of white pepper powder and a one spoon of cream, fresh cream Mix once again Nice and good. And now let's add some kasturi methi that's dry fenugreek leaves. Crush them and add this. And mix well. This gives it a nice taste and a nice flavor to this. A one teaspoon of a ghee and finish off the dish. And now the very famous Mughla chicken is ready to taste. <laughs> Smells extraordinary. You don't believe that the smell of this dish has covered the entire kitchen of my home. The aroma is that beautiful. Let me first try. I can't wait. <laughs> Awesome! Really, the gravy, the gravy is so creamy. The gravy's texture is so smooth that it literally melts in your mouth. And the chicken is also cooked very well. It's literally falling out of its bone because we have simmered it for a long time in this gravy. And nearly we cook the chicken for 70% in the oil. That gives it a beautiful taste. And believe me. This is one of the must try recipes. The cashew nuts, the fried cashew nuts and the fried whole garam masala gives it a completely distinctive taste and believe me it's taste wonderful. You need to try this, it's one of the best recipes you can make in home. So I'll keep bringing you more such yummy recipes like this and your valuable comments and likes will keep me motivated to do more yummy recipes like this. If you like my work, then please do subscribe to this channel. 
to meet you in next session. Till then, this is your host, Andrew Deepak Chandra, signing off. And Jai Hind.